we live with Trey. He got a championship match for the belt against his arch nemesis, Armani. And what you going to do? That boy said he was going to punch you and make shit come out of your body. And you was laughing? You better take this shit seriously. <laughs> ain't no cut. Look, nah, you, 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 you laughing, but... Cuts. Yeah, like I'm, the, I'm, I'm part of the bosses and them. Like, you feel me? But yeah, the boys say we was gonna punch shit out you. What you, what you, what you gotta say about that? I ain't feeling it, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't really feeling that. I, ain't, you know, it's a lot of shit flying out his mouth. To say that I'm gonna have shit coming out of me. So, your favorite thing is talking about marshmallows. He got two marshmallows on him. Man. What's a marshmallow? A soft what? ass punch. Okay. okay. You know. Ain't nothing to be worried about. It's a matter of if he could take these punches, that's the only way he's going to survive this fight. So what makes you think it's going to be different than the last time when, you know what I mean, he, he basically um, stopped your attack. He basically controlled the ring and got the crowd vote. Well, I mean, what, what's going to be different this time? Last time we fought, I asked for a time to train. He didn't want to give it to me because he knows with training, I dominate. So this time I got training. So this time I'm going to dominate. I mean, that sounds like bullshit, actually. The training is, um, you've been training since, you know, some months, and you had multiple fights then, and he has too, so what makes your skill level better now and his go down? What have you been doing different? He doesn't work as hard as me. Okay. That, that's how you feel. Um, so y'all got the hardest bracket weight class of boxers right now. Um, who else do you feel like is a threat outside of Armani? Nobody. Okay, okay, okay. So he feels like nobody's a threat, which I think that's just, uh, how y'all young motherfuckers say it, that's his cap for the camera. You know, you got people like Dan, Dan Francis. You got even the guy, um, Armani Falk. What was his name? Um, tall, light-skinned dude to do tats. Tajin. No, he ain't fighting no more. He going pro. Oh, okay, he going pro. So, um, okay, you got Carlo Gambino. You ain't you ain't been in the ring with Car Carlo Gambino. Then you got um, Cameron Fox, and you got uh, somebody else in that weight class. Who else we who we leaving out right now that's been putting in work in that 180, 170? Well, either way it go. The Melvin Thomas fight, but Melvin Thomas. He ain't been in the ring since he fought um, Mario Adams. I don't, I don't think Mario Adams was a, a formidable <laughs> opponent for him. Mario Adams hasn't showed any type of growth since he got in the ring. He got one what one yeah. win yeah. when he fought what Tyrell. Yeah. But uh, he, didn't fight Tyrell. he fought the other dude. What was his name? Dre. NFL Dre Lowe. Yeah. Oh okay, but everybody else has stopped him. I mean, they had him cha-cha dancing on one. I mean, let's keep it honest. We, like, you know, and this ain't no shot to, you know, like the dog no Bible. We're going to keep it real, like we're real as it come right now. I don't think Mario was a, is, is a formidable opponent that basically can, you know, Melvin, Melvin got to fight somebody else to me. He got to fight somebody else to me. Like, you know what I mean? Just like a lot of us, like people feel like I got to fight somebody else because all I had was Tiz and um, Bishop, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I might as well go ahead and take Legend on up out of here since he, you know, jumped in the group saying he wanted somebody to work with. Um, just like the other heavyweights, I don't feel like a lot of them, Ja, I mean, Josh Murphy has a lot of fights and he's in fought, you know, like Chad. Um, who else? He fought Chad and he had fought Rue and he, he did pretty good, but I don't feel like outside of him, a lot of the heavyweights ain't been tested. Um, so I don't feel like Melvin at 180 has been tested when you got Dan, you got even the dude Dan fought, Carlos Jones, uh, you, um, Carlo Gambino. I don't feel like Melvin deserves to be considered like one of the top guys because of the knockout with Mel, Mel, uh, Mario Adams. I don't think so. But Melvin got work, though. I give it to him. I'm, I'm not hating on his skill. I just feel like he needs another fight if he even can rock with this. So, um, but back to you. What? So, if you win the belt, who would you think should be the next person you fight 
to, re to keep the belt, to defend the belt. I think Carlo would be have to be my next fight because we was already supposed to fight originally. It never happened. And he's far from a slouch, so that would be a great matchup. And if he were to be able to beat me, I feel like he would deserve the belt. But we know how that's going to go. And how's that? I'm going to keep the belt. You're going to keep the belt? I'm going to keep the belt. You're going to buy the belt? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to earn the belt every time. Oh, okay. Every time I defend the belt, I'm going to defend the belt. You had to be a bad motherfucker to take it from me. I feel like you're too light when it comes to this um, box, and I feel like you're too nice. I feel like that killer instinct ain't came out of you. I feel like you ain't going in there trying to get rid of your opponent. I feel like you're going in there just to dance, play around like a little schoolyard fight. Um, if you come into the game and you really fight, I think you got a real good chance of walking away with the belt. But if you go in there playing with Armani, I feel like Armani going to knock the shit out of you, like he said. You know what I mean? And that's like Armani fights. He, he fights um, both-handed, whatever word, you know what I mean, uh, you want to use for it. He's comfortable moving around. He's comfortable punching off angles. And he's comfortable talking shit while he fights. So um, you got to pick. Like, you going in there, are you going to go to be the aggressor or are you going to sit there and let him dance all night? And you ain't got to give up your game plan, but um, you got a lot to think about. What you think? I agree that I've been in there bullshitting. But I haven't had no real competition yet other than our money. And I feel like if I do go in there and be the aggressor, no matter who I'm going against, it's going to be a tough fight against anybody if I go in there to hurt something or to get them out of there. Like you saying, I should. So I feel like if from now on I go in there and my goal is to get a knockout or stop them in an early round, I feel like I'll have less fights coming my way. But I feel like the only people I'd have to worry about fighting me would be Dan, Cam, Carlo. I mean, that's the, <clears throat> them are the threats right there. Them are the top guys. Them are the threats. Car um, Dan definitely is a big threat because he's heavy. He, he, he then, then Francis is more of a threat than he's like a 95% threat because he hasn't had a clear loss. Um, you could say he beat Carlo, which is Carlo can fight like a motherfucker. Um, against then you're dealing with a powerhouse. Um, against Cam, I say Cam was a big threat in that, in, in that uh, weight class. Against Cam, you're dealing with a, a aggressive puncher. Cam don't really dance a lot, so he's coming straight for it. Dan is not dancing at all. He's like tank. He's coming. He's he's trying to knock your head off. Carlos, Carlo Gambino is more of a dancer. He has footwork. He has handwork. He's pretty quick, and he he's got good weave game. Um, I think your hardest opponent out of all of them would be Carlo Gambino. So, uh, well, well, good luck coming up April 11th. It's going down. We want to see you to get in there and put on and uh, see what happens. And we'll, we'll get back to this after April 11th. Holler at y'all from Camp Green. Shots fired, gloves up, guns down. <laughs>